Anna or Anna, formerly also known as Anna, is an Iraqi town on the Euphrates River, approximately midway between the Gulf of Alexandretta and the Persian Gulf. Anna lies from west to east on the right bank along a bend of the river just before it turns south towards Hit. The town was called Ha Na'aki in cuneiform texts from the Old Babylonian period, A Na'at by the scribes of Tukulti Ninurta c. 885 BC, and Anat by the scribes of Asur Nasir Paltu in 879 BC. The name has been connected with the widely worshipped war goddess Anat. It was known as Anatho to Isidore Cherax and Anatha to Aminus Marcellinus. Early Arabic writers described it variously as Anna or Anat. The earliest references to Anna are probably found in letters of the period of Zimri Lim of Mari. Under Hammurabi of Babylon, the town must have fallen under Babylonian control, being included in the governorate of Suhu. Later, the town was under Assyrian rule. At the beginning of the 8th century BC, Samus Ressa Usur and his son Ninurta Kudruri Usur succeeded in creating an independent political entity, and called themselves governors of Suhu and Mari. The land of Suhu occupied a quite extensive region on the middle Euphrates, approximately from the area near Fallujah in the southeast to the area of Hindanu in the northwest. Important evidence for this period was recovered during English and Iraqi salvage excavation campaigns at Sur Jur A and on the island of Anna in the early 1980s. Xenophon recorded that the army of Cyrus the Younger resupplied during a campaign in 401 BC at Charmon near the end of a 90 parasong march between Corsot and Pili, which likely intends Anna. It was the site where the Roman Emperor Julian first met opposition in his AD 363 expedition against the Sassanid Empire. He got possession of the place and relocated its inhabitants. Minaret of Anna, a Basid era heritage site, before its destruction. In 657, during the Muslim conquest of Iraq, Ali's lieutenants Ziyad and Shure were refused passage across the Euphrates at Anna. Later, in 1058, Anna was the place of exile of the Caliph Khan when al Basasiri was in power. In the 14th century, Anna was the seat of the Catholicos who served as primate over the Persian Christians. Throughout early Islamic rule, it was a prosperous trade town, well known for its date palms and gardens. In the 14th century, Mustafi wrote of the fame of its palm groves. Medieval Arab poets celebrated Anna's wine. Between the 14th and 17th centuries, Anna served as a headquarters for a host of regional Arab tribes. In 1574, Leonhard Rawl found the town divided into two parts, the Turkish so surrounded by the river that you cannot go into it but by boats and the larger Arabian section along one of the banks. In 1610, Teixeira set Anna lay on both banks of the river, with which Pietro della Valle agreed. In that year, della Valle found the Scot George Strachan resident at Anna, working as the physician to the emir and studying Arabic, he also found some sun worshippers still living there. Della Valle and Teixeira called Anna the principal Arab town on the Euphrates, controlling a major route west from Baghdad and territory reaching Palmyra. Late Ottoman era about 1750, the Ottomans installed a rudimentary administration to run Anna and its district. After roughly a century, a more organized local government was put in place, whereby Anna became the center of a kazaa belonging to the Baghdad Vilayet. At the beginning of the 19th century, G.A. Olivier found only 25 men in service of the local prince, with residents fleeing daily to escape from Bedouin attacks against which he offered no protection. He described the city as a single long street of five or six miles along a narrow strip of land between the river and a ridge of rocky hills. W.F. Ainsworth, chronicling the British Euphrates expedition, reported that in 1835 the Arabs inhabited the northwest part of the town, the Christians the center, and the Jews the southeast. The same year, the steamer Tigris went down in a storm just above Anna, near where Julian's force had suffered from a similar storm. By the mid-19th century, the houses were separated from one another by fruit gardens, which also filled the river on islands near the town. The most easterly island contained a ruined castle, while the ruins of ancient Anatho extended a further two miles along the left bank. It marked the boundary between the olive and date-growing regions in the area. With the positioning of Turkish troops in the town around 1890, the locals no longer had to pay blackmail to the Bedouins. Through the early 20th century, coarse cotton cloth was the only manufacture. In 1909 Anna had an estimated population of 15,000 and 2,000 houses. Most of the inhabitants were Sunni Muslim Arabs, though a small Jewish community lived on the town's southern edge. Mosque in Anna in 1918, the town was captured by British forces and by 1921, became incorporated into the Kingdom of Iraq. It remained an administrative center of Akata,
part of the larger Ramadi based Lawa of Dal Aim. Anas Kata also included the subdistricts of Hit, Al Qaim, and Juba. The townspeople's long feud with the inhabitants of Rawa was settled diplomatically by 1921. Its territory to the west was dominated by the subtribes of Aniza, while to the east the Jarba branch of the Shamar held sway. Most of Anna's building were located among a dense belt of date palms and was reckoned as healthy and picturesque, according to historian S. H. Longrig. The date palms were irrigated by water wheels. There were also more scattered dwelling in the midstream islands of the Euphrates near the town center. The women of the town were well known for their beauty and the weaving of cotton and wool textiles. The men, many of whom were compelled to emigrate to lack of living space, were largely engaged as boatmen and fin transporters of water to Baghdad. The town had relatively high educational standards, with eight schools built there by 1946. F. R. Chesney reported about 1,800 houses, two mosques, and 16 water wheels. One minaret is particularly old. Northedge reported the locals commonly attributed it to the 11th century but opined that it was more likely from about a century after that. It rose from one of the islands and belonged to the local mosque. Dr. Moyad said described it as an octagonal body enhanced by alcoves, some of which are blind and noted earlier conservation work undertaken in 1935, 1963 and 1964. When the valley was flooded by the Haditha Dam in 1984-85, the Iraqi State Board of Antiquities cut it into sections and removed it to the new Anna, where it was re-erected to a height of 28 meters at the end of the 1980s. ISIS captured the town in 2014. On September 19, 2017, an offensive to retake the town from ISIS control began. After two days of fighting the town was recaptured by the Iraqi army. Anna has a hot desert climate. Most rain falls in the winter. The average annual temperature in Anna is 20. 7 degrees Celsius. About 127 millimeters of precipitation falls annually. Attribution. Thanks for watching.